Very nice. And here's yours. You cannot be serious. Oh, what's the matter? A name badge? Yeah, all the best places have them. They're going to make us look more professional and modern. I'm not here to help. I'm here to fix cars. And if I want them to know my name, I'll tell them. Oh, come on, Tommy. What's your problem? It's just the bad. This is so modern. And it's a disease and it's spreading. Trains, banks, tyre shops, even pubs. You've got some poor sod trying to earn a few quid wearing a cheap uniform, looking like a dodgy schoolboy with his badge and his stupid title. I'm a mechanic, a skilled working man, an adult. I don't want to look like I'm flipping burgers. Morning. Morning. Oh, smart badges, have I got one? Of course you have. Cool. Oh, I give up. Do you know, I think Tyrone really understands what we're trying to do here in a way that Tommy never will. Oh, is it? All right. Tyrone needs encouraging. He deserves a reward. He gets paid. That's his reward. Right, everybody, gather round. Now, I know you're all getting used to all the changes we've been making. Uh, we've been making? And we don't want you to think that you're not getting anything out of it. Oh, perish the thought. So, we're introducing Employee of the Month Award to show how much we value excellence. And our first Employee of the Month this month is... Tyro! <laughs> speech, speech, speech. Um, I'd like to thank Jack and Vera, my faithful dog Monica, they work, mate, Tommy. I think the dog gets thanked before me. <laughs> and I'd just like to thank everybody that knows me. <laughs> All right, Tyrone, that's enough. And as a mark of our appreciation, I'd like to present you with the Employee of the Month cap. Oh, wow. <laughs> yowza, yowza, yowza. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> and a £50 bonus. You what? 50 quid? You never mentioned that. Well, I can't just give him a stupid hat. Sorry, Tyrone, can I? Fifty's a good amount. Oh, two, right, it is. <laughs> a fifty quid note? Come on, boys, bears on me. You're not kidding. Hey, that's not the idea. Oh, well, I'm going as well. Get some of my money back. Get you. Hey, oh, that's badge tie. Oh, not you at all. You know what this cap means? <laughs> Employee of the month. Yeah, well, come on, you. Get the bears in. When you're ready, please, love there. Four pints. Oh, you're trying to impress me. What's up? Don't you get many £50 notes in here? <laughs> uh, we don't get any, cos Fred says I can't take them. There's so many forgeries about. Sorry. <laughs> oh, never mind. Peter will change it. I'll get them in. Oh, my lads, back to work. Yeah, come on. Work in a month, sup up. <laughs> Employee, thank you. And I'll catch up. I've uh, got to go for a Jimmy Riddle. Yeah, well, don't be too long, eh? Two pints, please, better. OK, love. You sure? Will you get told off? <laughs> I'm well in there, me. If the star grafter can't stay for a few beers, then who can, eh? Cheers. Absolutely. There right. you are. I'd ask you what you're doing, but it's obvious. This isn't good enough, Tyrone. Hey, you can't say that. He's the employee of the month. Yeah. Not anymore, he's not. Two minutes. She took me out. Well done. Cheers. Oh, hiya. I wondered how long she'd last. Oh, can't you at least wait until October? Miss September's well fit. Watch it, Tyrone. You're skating on very thin ice. I thought you'd like something more educational to go up at. Pictures of camshafts and gearboxes. Mottos. Business mottos. And today's business motto is, if I'm to sell what Mr Smith buys, then I must see through Mr Smith's eyes. What's all that about? Empathy. Seeing things from a customer's point of view. We're mechanics, not salesmen. Oh, did you hear that, Kenny? Look at that, not salesmen. Why not? No? Well, have you never recommended that a customer has extra work done or a more expensive part fitted? That's different. No, it is selling. And it's what you should be doing every time somebody walks through that door. See what I'm up against? I used to like working here. Yeah, me too. Nah, I feel like me every move's being watched and analysed. Seeing if it can be done quicker or cheaper. I keep expecting to come in and find two monkeys doing our job. Oh, she's had some good ideas then. <laughs> Come on, Kev, we're working our butts off here. Yeah, and we don't need her little pearls of wisdom trying to wring another hour's work out of us. Make yourself lucky. At least you two are not on 24-hour call-out. I took some more flyers round to eat us, so they should be in the papers tomorrow. Not that she wants to do it. You should have seen the face she pulled. So were you. Nothing. You've not said a word to me all night. You're not still annoyed with me, are you, over that stupid calendar? No. You are, aren't you? 
Honestly, Kevin, Tommy and Tyrone need a rocket up the backside. Look, so it's not just a calendar. It's your whole attitude. And what's that supposed to mean? Throwing your weight around. Getting on people's cases all the time. I'm trying to put the business on the map. Yeah, well, it's not working out. Oh, I see. We was ticking over nicely as it was. So what, you don't need any fresh ideas or another pair of hands? Well, frankly, no. All right, we might need a bit of tinkering with. We don't need a total refurb. You're too full on, so. Oh, it's nice to feel appreciated. Yeah, well, I'm just being honest. Yeah, well, can I just point out that since I've been running the... helping out... Ah, slips up then, didn't you? All right, running the place, because the business side does need running, Kevin. You're a mechanic, you haven't got time. Since I've taken over, turnover has gone up by 20%, so you can't say that it's not working. Oh, great. We're earning more money. What's the point if I'm going to be dead by the time I'm 50? Do you know what your problem is? You don't like being told what to do by a woman. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's true. So you better get used to it, because I'm going nowhere.